video, we're going to show you the proper disassembly and reassembly methods for the LSIS MC and MR contactors in order to change the coil. If there is a situation where a coil is damaged and needs to be replaced, or simply a different coil voltage is needed for a MC or MR contactor, follow these instructions. Different frame sizes vary in the disassembly and reassembly methods. To skip to the frame size you need, see the description box below. For the MC 18M frame to 22M frame, as well as MR 4 to 8 frame contactors, remove the contactor from the box and place on a flat surface. Next, cut the nameplate label along the seam. Using your LSIS contactor tool or a flathead screwdriver, insert the blades into the outer plastic tabs and pull toward the body of the contactor in order to separate the tabs from the top. Repeat on the other side to fully separate the bottom half from the top half. Then remove the top half and the spring, and then we can lift the coil out and slide in the replacement coil. Make sure that the notch on the bottom half aligns with the side with the indent so that the coil is placed with the right orientation. Replace the spring with the larger side down and place the top half of the contactor back onto the bottom half to reassemble. Use the nameplate label to confirm the orientation of the top and bottom match and snap together. For the MC40M frame to 150M frame contactors, remove the contactor from the box and set on a flat surface. Remove any auxiliary contact units and cut any nameplate labels along the seam of the contactor. Next, remove the center screw between A1 and A2 on each side. Note that the 150M frame has two screws on each side. Pull the top half off the bottom half and take out the spring. Then remove the coil by pulling up on both sets of A1 and A2 terminals. Install the new coil and place the spring back into the contactor with the larger end down. Place the top half onto the bottom half. If the top half does not slide in, rotate the top 180 degrees and try again. Secure the contactor with the screws between A1 and A2 and replace any auxiliaries. For the MC225M frame to 800M frame contactors, remove the contactor from the box and lay on a flat surface. Locate the orange coil locking mechanism, push it up, and pull out the coil. To install the new coil, simply slide the replacement coil into the contactor housing and make sure the coil is fully seated.